Did we go on a bender I don't remember? I feel like I'm heavily sauced. It appears... infinite. How are we inside a citadel? Do not try to make sense of it. Anything is possible in Havoc's domain. How do you know the Citadel's secrets? I spent months posing as one of Havoc's minions to gather intelligence for our assault. There, Havoc's foundry. If your friend is here, he is beyond that door. Absorb the fall. You saved my life. Thank you. I am happy to return the favor. My armor flies short distances. I can retrieve them one at a time. Be careful. Fall off the pathways and you will fall forever. Allow the Brotherhood of Chaos to help you on your way. like Bihan. I am he, though not as you remember. What did Havoc do to you? He perfected me, baptizing me in chaos. Those who oppose anarchy, who revere order, will be eliminated. That is the will of Lord. Oh shit. Noob Cybot is in the house now! Ugh. No, wait a Stop! Uh, stop! I suck! <laughs> I suck at Tanya! Ooh! Ooh! Shit! Uh, here we go! I'm good! Stop it, Raiden! Oh! oh. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you, Sector. Oh, I might be screwed. I might be cooked. No, he's cooked. <laughs> you wasted it, you dumb idiot. <laughs> Fight. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. Uh, absolutely fucking up here. Time to do the damn drill kick. It's not working. Uh, it's, it's B instead. Woo! Damn! Mega Man Blaster. Uh, excellent. Boom! Gone. <laughs> will, will not be done. He's gone. Where is Bihan? You know him from your timeline? Yes, but he has been corrupted. I must restore him. Bring him back. Do not fret. I am sure we haven't seen the last of him. Do you mind a change of partner? Not at all, Cyrax. Thus far, your brotherhood does not impress. Havig is deluded if he thinks you can contain us. Oh, Mr. Kong Lao. And, uh... Oh, oh that's the first thing you did, you dirty motherfucker! <laughs> Asshole! Uh, 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 uh. First thing you did is fucking sock me in the goddamn head. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Right. No! Damn! Too far. Get out of here. Nope. Again! 
again! This is bad! <laughs> Okay, I didn't do it again. Shit. Damn! Oh, fuck. I blocked it, but I did that with a low attack. No, this is gonna hurt. But at least he wasted his. Oh! Who's next? Who's next? You are! <laughs> Excellent. Fine. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. What? Damn. Fucking up on that. Ah, no, not that again. <laughs> hey. Stop it. Oh. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> hey. Stop. Damn. Alright, alright, come on. You're pissing me off now. Now it's not our time to generate a blow. It's our time. It's a that's a generic cameo combo. Mm -hmm. Dead. <laughs> I remain unimpressed. Executed. Tanya, step aside. You will be scorched by the flames of anarchy. Water, fire, razor-edged hats. I've had enough chaos for one day. As have I, Cyrax. As have I. Alright. Chaos Blue Kane. It's pretty badass the way he came in. Too bad I'm gonna whoop your ass. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Ugh. Uh, 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 uh. Get out of here. Damn! Uh. Yeah, okay. I need to know her combo. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Get out of here. Dip! Today's end cannot I need to get familiarized myself with her combos, because we haven't done an ending, too. So I'm gonna to have to get good at her eventually. Uh, uh, da, 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 uh. Uh. Oh! Oh! Hey, shut up, Luke Kane. You shut your face. How about that? Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Damn. I knew her combos. Hey! Now. Damn! Oh god, he's, he's whooping my ass. Ooh! <laughs> whooping my ass there! Glad when this day is finished. The foundry door is up ahead. Lead on, Empress. Wait! What, Sector? Bihan is here, defending Havoc. Defending him? Is there no low he won't sink to? He is not himself. His mind has been broken. That may be so, but if he gets in our way... We have to bring him back, so we can undo the evil that's been done to him. Only if it won't jeopardize the mission. You would leave him to die? Have you no respect? He is owed no more respect than he showed my father. suits you. It is as black as your heart. How are you always so blind? First to the Lin Kuei's potential, now to the perfection of Lord Havoc's chaos. It is your ambition that is blind, Bihan. As always, though he twisted your mind to his purpose, he left your desires unchanged. <laughs> The few 
future is chaos. All must embrace it. Scorpion needs help. Despite what Kwai Liang says, he would regret it if he loses Bihan. We cannot kill him. No promises. Havoc must be stopped. No matter oh, Noob Saibai, you better not be a bitch to fight. I swear to God. Noob Saibai was a pain in the ass to fight in MK9. If you ever play MK9, you know what I mean. He is not fun to fight. Probably fun to play, though. But he's always a bitch to fight, though, in MK9. Even in MK11, it was freaking difficult. <laughs> Flawless victory. Okay, not too bad. Fight. Uh, excellent. Nice, nice, nice. Oh! What the hell? The hell was that? Uh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, what the hell? That was a low attack. Shit. Okay, now I know. But well, we get to see Noob Sabah's fatal. Oh, 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 ow! That was badass, but painful. Holy shit! <laughs> Come here, you fuck. Ooh! <laughs> that was a bad badass fatal blow. Won't be necessary. Havoc has made him odious. This must be undone. The Lin Kuei's elder arcanist knows nothing of Havoc's magic. Liu Kang is your only hope. You should not have plotted against him. You refuse to help? He's your brother. Kwai Liang has forgotten how to honor his family. Do not confuse pity for allegiance, Sector. I refuse to take sides. Havoc wants his time crystals. These relics must be extracting it. Perhaps the process must be interrupted. Perfect. As a god, it is his prerogative. I would not be so forgiving. mind is mended. Havoc's magic is unlike anything I have encountered. It will not be easily mastered. Be 
Jihan, can you hear me? Yes, I can. While our conflict remains, its resolution must wait. It will be moot if we do not stop Havoc. On that, Liu Kang, we agree. We have his Kamidogu. That will slow him down. Only if we keep them from him. We can assume he is already on his way. Once in the Temple of the Elements, they will be beyond his reach. The others wait for you outside. They will accompany you on the journey. Now, Ihan, what can you tell me of your captivity? He knows what I know. When my mind was broken, it became an open book. All my knowledge was laid bare for Havoc's inspection. So he is aware of our defenses. And also of the portal gateways at Ying Valley. If he recovers the Kamidoku, he will use them to hasten capture of this timeline by projecting his chaos into all realms at once. I should have been stronger. Of the failings which should shame you, this is not one. Few could withstand the Titan. Septon, are you with Liu Kang? Yes. Why do- Call to the entrance. Havoc. Raiding my citadel, stealing my Kamidoku. <sighs> Your warriors are adept at creating chaos. So good of you to approve. Approve? You dare to throw my plans into disarray? <sighs> the only chaos you revere is yours. You are no zealot. You are a hypocrite. <sighs> The Kamidogu are powered, and I am ready. Nothing can stop me from seizing this timeline. Kamfukeji! Tumena! Komaisa! This havoc is crazy. <laughs> Got the infinity stones up to his goddamn chest. <laughs> Alright, this is new sidebar time, baby. Let's see, we, let's see if we know how to play as him. Also, the chaos design for Cyrex the Sector looks pretty cool. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh. Okay, noob. Yeah, noob is he's looking badass. Like, holy shit. Absolute badass. That's his uppercut, too, which is pretty cool. Uh, uh. I will not die today. That's a little. Yeah, noob is pretty badass, but looks like. Oh damn! Almost teleported ass. It's pretty cool because you can do like air combos, like a launcher. Oh! Come on! Damn! Get in there, the damn hole! 
Get out of here. Come on, Scorpion. Oh. No. Oh. This Scorpion has saved my ass. Thank you, brother. Get uh, uh, your ass. <laughs> Get out of my face. The blood spilled today will be yours, not mine. If we lose, it will be due to your incompetence. Of course, you have no flaws. Do not join combat unless I require it. We cannot risk losing this battle. <laughs> Damn, Lily tells Scorpion, don't suck, essentially. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Come on, get it! Yes! Uh. Now. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, okay, we need to know his combo. Ooh, that's a nice combo. Let's get out of here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh shit. Ooh. Wow. Still talking mad shit. Ah! Still talking mad shit, so. Nice. Uh. Uh, okay, Noob Saba is pretty fucking badass. Absolutely badass. Oh, hey, come over here. Ooh, are you kidding me? No! Not again! No, he got me! <laughs> Damn. Uh, uh, uh. We actually get to see his face. Kill me! Uh, out of my face! Woo! That is how one wins, brother. I will bury you in a glacier of hail. Stay there. He is mine to finish. Yes. <laughs> What is more important, winning this fight or protecting your ego? <laughs> Shall we leave them to their quarrel? No. Let us silence it forever. Alright, now we're finding Sub Zero now. Ugh. Oh! Get out of here! Uh, 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 uh. Nice. Oh! Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the good old classic portal. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Sub Zero. Oh, oh. Behind, I guess. Oh, what the hell? Is that a command? Was that a command grab? Uh. Hey, come on, Scorpion. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh. God damn it! Oh! Oh! Yes. You fuck. Uh. So. Mmm. Mmm. Dead. <laughs> Get your ass, Will. Life should continue. Beyond. Wait. Was entirely unhelpful. We could have pressed them for information. I doubt either knew anything. They were underlings. Possibly. 
but we will never know. We would have been better served had cooler heads prevailed. Either way, our goal is unchanged. Let us rid ourselves of havoc. Agreed. We will gather my champions and depart for Ying Valley. allies are determined to keep things interesting. Thoughts. The more, the merrier. What you are meant to do. Defend Earthrealm. I am not allowed to desire a different future. Your desires are not at issue. It is your methods for achieving them. Enough toying with them. We've a job to do. Patience, Father. You're the one who taught that death should be entertaining. Huh? Dad and son? In this universe? Uh. Uh. Ooh, the triple kick? You kidding me? Dude? What the hell? Oh, Takeda, stop! Okay, well, they're about to learn the hard way. Hey, get out of here! They're about to die together as father and son, I guess. All right, Liu Kang, do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Too close. Too close. Uh. Get out of here. Uh. 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 Get out. Uh. Stop it. Mm. Thank you, Liu Kang, for the assistance. Hey! Yeah, eat that. Alright, damn, my actually got me. <laughs> damn, Takeda, what is that? Come on, man, that was weak. Come on. I am entertained. Are you? I have them. Impressive display. One does not trifle with guards. No, one kills them. Stay back. I will finish this. No, Liu Kang. They are mine. <laughs> I refuse to fight in your new side. New side is like, nah. Fight. I got this. I want to kill him myself. <laughs> he is ready. Yeah, he is absolutely savage right now, new side bot. Or Bihan, I guess. But hey, at least they're not trying to kill each other. They are actually working together. For now. Hopefully, they can live in peace. Oh. Yeah, Liu Kang. Yeah. Are you not blind to your Excellent. 
fight. Now he is absolutely savage. He's like, no, I want to kill him myself. <laughs> At least we have two, three fatalities so far in this whole story. We might see a fatality on this assholes, but potentially. Uh, nice kicks there. Oh. Damn. Stop it. Yeah, Lucan kicked him in the face. <laughs> now, only one battle remains. We have him now. Well, he has the Infinity Gauntlets inside his damn chest. Want to be careful. <laughs> to your order and abandon my triumph you've gone mad this timeline will not succumb to chaos its beings are not meant to live that way meant to there are no sacred laws no divine rules i choose what is right because i hold the power and I choose to bless all beings everywhere with anarchy. Well, that is new. Ha Havoc clones <laughs> and a replicated. Oh, well, we definitely have we definitely have a problem. Great! Now we're fighting math. I hate math. He will outnumber us in minutes. Indeed. Every timeline I take, it comes down to this. Not a battle I never lose. A battle between titans. Not this time, Havoc. This time, you battle me. No, Bihar. Your ego is too... Havoc filled my mind with his chaos. I have learned his thoughts. Learned his combat. Ah, fool. You have learned nothing. Chaos is unknowable, unpredictable. You are in no way prepared to stop the pain you will endure. Okay, well, we'll see about that, huh? Oh, what the hell? Okay, that's that's definitely a new ability. Uh, oh, damn, there's a lot. Hey, hey, hey! Fucking had laser beams. Get the shit out of here. Oh, the laser. Laser beams. Get out of here. All right, he, he's being cheap now. Not unless I get your first bitch. Woo! Yeah, definitely gotta take him out with the fatal blow, but we have no fatal blow now. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. When you die, your plot ends. Gotta be careful with that laser beam. Ooh. Oh. Uh. 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 Top. Okay. Doing pretty good. Yes. 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 Doing pretty good. Uh. Huh? The laser beam? Stop it! Damn. Does a lot of fucking damage. Uh! Yeah, scale him! Stand down. We are not safe until he dies. We do 
you not know how he is joined with his timeline. Destroying him could wipe it from existence. And I will not kill innocent millions. That is not our concern. Ours is only this. Uh, no. I have had my fill of your selfishness. Liu Kang, I will not. Behan, no. Not this fight. <laughs> Thank you, Giris. And you, for your support. I acted for Bihan. He would have gained nothing from his challenge. Very well. To reward your efforts on our timeline's behalf, I will see that you are spared Empress Melina's wrath. Go. Return to the Lin Kuei. And Bihan? He will remain with me until he has been restored. I will be kept apprised of his progress? As I see fit. And Sector. Further Lin Kuei transgressions will be severely punished as their Grand Master in Bihan's absence. You will be held responsible. magic truly be undone yes though comprehending its intricacies may take years for now Bian will reside at the temple of the elements it is safer for all that way Still, the matter of Cyrax. She awaits your decision. I know Harumi's thoughts, but I remain unsure. Trust your wife, Kwai Liang. Avail yourself of her wisdom. You came. Thank you. I promised a decision, and I have one. Before you share it, may I say one more time that I... You fought well against Havoc. You also saved my life. But that is... Not enough. I understand. But that is not all. I had no business judging you for believing Bihan's lies. I too was taken in. It is he and he alone who deserves my ire. You, however, deserve an invitation. I, I, what can I say? Thank you, Kuai Liang. Thank you, Grand Master. Okay, guys, so just got just got the Chaos Reigns uh, campaign completed. Uh, I beat it a while ago, actually, like maybe two days ago, but I just really want to put my dots into this campaign specifically because we waited for a year for this campaign, so-called campaign expansion, the story expansion. 
and I had my expectations a bit too high to say the least and what we got in this story expansion pack for MK1 I'm gonna be 100% honest to you no bullshitting this story is trash <laughs> this is honestly this is honestly the worst written story that I have seen of any Mortal Kombat storylines I've seen so far now like I was really hoping to be like on par with aftermath expansion for MK11 because at least with MK11's aftermath uh, story mode at least there was some meaning to it though. The stakes were really high, especially that you have these heroes have to work with Shang Tsung, one of the most, you know, one of the most deadliest villains in the whole MK franchise, in my opinion. They have to work together with him to pretty much fix the timeline that has been pretty much broken. And there was a lot of stakes there. The, the twists were on point, the storytelling, the writing, well, the writing is debatable. You know, there's a lot of good stuff, a lot of bad, but the storytelling, regardless, was was pretty much what should have ended the whole Mortal Kombat series altogether. Or if you are gonna reboot the whole MK universe, keep it grounded. You know, keep it on the new era. So that's what's that's what made MK1 special in the first half here. So I'm gonna go MK1, right? So if we take a look here. Check out uh, all with Act One, okay? So let's go all with Act One. So, so from Act One all the way, all the way to let's see. I think maybe all the way to Chapter Twelve is when the storyline really, really far apart. Well, it was kind of interesting because you got, you know, Sh Titan Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat 11's Aftermath in there. So, uh, that I didn't really mind as much. But once we get to chapter... F uh, yeah, I I'll be honest. Yeah, once we get to chapter 12 when Titan Shang Tsung uh, pops out, that's when the story kind of falls apart. That's where they started to introduce, you know, the different timelines, hashtag the more terrors and... And you know, the whole thing kind of went downhill after this. The storytelling gotten worse, the writing's gotten worse. Uh, just like, you know, I don't know. It's like they, it's like they stop caring about the story after they get past all this, uh, all this new era stuff. Like that's, that's the just, of, uh, that's the just of it, you know, at least. But yeah, in my opinion, that's where the story fall apart at chapter 12. And then it went fucking Armageddon 2.0, hashtag Avengers Endgame style type of scenario. It's just, the story was bad as it is in MK1. But then when you introduce uh, part two of the story mode, Chaos Reigns, as you can see here, there's only act five. And you only get, you know, you don't really get too much, really. You don't get too much at all. So let's see. Got one, two, three, four, five. You get five new chapter and one new act, and this costs fifty dollars, by the way. Fifty dollars. Now, granted, the the expansion pack does come with combat pack uh, uh, two. Uh, if you buy the bundle, which is pretty much the full price game, sixty dollars. Apologize for that. I have to cut off a little bit. To everybody, all all the nephews and nieces, uh, wishing me a good happy birthday. So, you probably didn't know. Yeah, it is my birthday. By the time you see this video, it'll probably be out uh, by Tuesday, more likely. Uh, but yeah, about yeah, like like I was saying, you are paying fifty dollars right for this campaign, and this is all you get. Find new chapters. And here's the, the, the sad part too, is that this story could have been great too, especially with Havoc being a, a, an invader too, with him with the hourglass. Like this could have went really good. Potentially it could have been good. Uh, but overall though, the whole storytelling, the whole storytelling, the characters, the writing, the stories, it's just, in my personal opinion, I don't think it wasn't good because we don't really get to know too much about Cyrex and Sector at the beginning. Uh, it's a shame that they got gender swap, but it's whatever. It's the new era. They could do whatever the fuck they want. But 
Uh, armor design wise, I think the armor design is okay. Kind of wish to have the dreadlocks a little bit longer for the helm, so that way it looks more like the original counterpart. You could get a head, uh, you could get the original headgear if you level the characters up and in, uh, in the game, so that's good to know. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, you don't really get to know too much about the characters at all. Yeah, we know Sector is absolutely simple for Bihan. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it, they, they, they are to get in bed. Because uh, even in MK9, Sector was kind of all, all over Sub-Zero's you know, you know, balls too. Uh, if you play the original MK9 game, which is pretty much a reboot. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it, it started off with Sector and Cyrax, you know, training in this uh, Star Trek hologram type of arena. Which I would admit, it looks, it looks good, the rendering looks good, the cinematics looks good for it, but like I said, you don't really get to know too much about the background, so like, how the hell did Behan, uh, how the hell did Behan, aka Sub-Zero, is able to get funds to build a whole new hologram system with this high-tech armor and gear, uh, they, never, they, never, they never really explained that. I'm gonna assume they got that shit from like the Black Dragon, like Kato's guys, or Movado's guy. Uh, uh, but yeah, it didn't really explain none of that. Decided to crash down on uh, Scorpion's red in here. Uh, again, you don't even get to know too much background story about Kwai Lang and Harumi too. Uh, but I think you get most of the story element stuff from Evasion, which is still kind of stupid because then, you know, that's how most live service games now they tie the storyline into like another game mode that you don't you know care about. But <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so, uh, Cyrax Sector, Sub-Zero decided to crash the party, uh, they got a couple people killed, uh, they're there to capture Scorpion, you know, because, you know, they think he betrayed him, uh, but, like, uh, but, and then, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but, but Cyrax is somehow shocked that Sub-Zero is lying, uh, that li uh, lied here the whole time about, you know, Scorpion's betrayal. Like, already from the start, when they're doing a prep talk in the hologram, she's already suspicious that something, you know, something's not going right, but she's still following Sub-Zero, you know, regardless. And as, and behind, Sub-Zero's pretty damn super too, because he can already see that she's kind of defiant, uh, defiant against him already, so why not just take her out and get someone else to take her place in the first place? I, I don't understand. Like behind in a way, is kind of, he, he's he's kind of, he's kind of suck at managing his own clan. <laughs> I'll be completely honest, and and the whole like you know even when like the wedding when they're fighting against each other, you got Johnny Cage and Raiden doing quips in the middle of the battle, like some you know some sort of fucking Disney Marvel movie. I was like, what is happening to the storyline? What happened? Just what happened? Uh, I'm, I, it's just it, it kind of throws me off a little bit, you know, where you got people doing, you know, one line you know, joke and creeps here and there while they're fighting, you know, against somebody that's actually trying to kill you. It's like you wouldn't be freaking saying jokes when someone's trying to kill you in the middle of a fight. So, anyways, uh, Sector tell uh, Kyle uh, Scorpion tell the whole truth about you know why uh, behind and his betrayal. And then they decided to spill the bees, and then they got their ass whooped, of course. So they got their ass captured. They took him to Outworld. So, uh, so that way they could determine if, you know, Empress Melina will execute them or not. And then that's when Titan Havoc shows up and his goons, as you can see here in the picture here. Which I will admit, you know, it's pretty cool seeing him coming in. I'm digging the purple color as well. Like, Lily Havoc, he, he literally came in by tossing his head out to the portal, coming in with his body, pick it up, and attach to his head. Like, like I said, this could have been a good campaign if they'd done it right with the writing, uh, with the writing and the storytelling. Like, everybody, everybody likes, to, you know, ha Havoc, uh, even in the old Deception days, you know, cause, because he's known to be a pretty weird character, especially with half his face missing. And then, then he, pretty much you got Titan here in his original Deception form. And they could have done something really crazy with this storyline. Uh, I don't want to bore you too much with it. I don't want to drag out, uh, drag out too long in this video. But 
Uh, but yeah, all the potential, all the storytelling here, uh, it, it's just kind of... Uh, I want to keep this short as possible. So in other words, yeah, uh, the, the captured gear is... Uh, Liu Kang is forced to have Scorpion, Sector, Cyrax working together uh, to ch find gears before he can take the time crystals from... Uh, from uh, from him, so that way Havoc can use that to rebuild all timelines into his own way. Uh, they get to a scuffle. Uh, we ran to alter. We ran to alternate a uh, a rain and Tanya when uh, when they're like high warrior tees, which I'll make. I thought was pretty cool to make Rain look like an absolute badass. Uh, it's kind of a shame that they killed him so fast. Which I kind of figured they are going to kill him in the storyline, but I didn't expect him to die like that. I was like, man. That's some bullshit, I have to say. And I think the dragon, Owen, I think that's from uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon too. Uh, when you played as Haven in Conquest mode, I think you meet a dragon named Owen. But in this one, uh, I think it's a she instead of a he. Because I think in the old Armageddon game, it was a, it was a male. It had a male voice, last I remember, but this one, it sounds like it has a female voice. Uh, but regardless, the dragon here looks kind of fucked up. It's very, uh, very malnourished, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, the pit about the dragon is there as a plot. Uh, as a plot uh, event where the, the dragon is convincingly there to teleport them to the Citadel. That's where they find behind, you know. Turned into Noob Cybot. By the way, they don't explain why he he called himself Noob Cybot in the story. By the way, it's just Noob Cybot. Is noob Cybot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the whole story kind of definitely fall apart here. I, I, what really pisses me off is that both Tanya and Cyrex were giving Scorpion shit because Scorpion doesn't want to help his brother out. I was like, look, look. Cyrex and Sector and Sub Zero are the one that crashed his wedding party. Sub Zero almost killed Scorpion when he deflected, you know, to work with Outworld. Like, why are you giving him shit when you guys are the ones trying to fucking kill him and ruin his whole wedding? Say, like, get the fuck out of here! Like, I, I can't. Like, why heard Cyrex supporting, you know? Sector, oh, it's your brother though. Yeah, but I don't give a fuck. He's, he's trying to kill me. He's not my brother no more. The hell? Get the fuck out of here. Like, Scorpion was being way too nice there. If that was me, I'll be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> that that, so, that, that kind of got me a little bit ticked off there, but it is what it is. You know, he took behind to Luke Cage to try to get all the dark magic juice out of him. And they got the Kamidagu, yeah, Kamidagu makes a, a reappearance in this game. Uh, but they're basically, you know, Infinity Infinity Stones from Avengers Endgame, essentially. Especially with the colors, too. I was like... Are the writers even trying in this game anymore? Are they trying to make a good, compelling story anymore? Uh, it just feels like they don't, they're, not, they're not trying anymore. And yeah, obviously we noob Saba gets his time to shine, which I will admit is pretty badass. It's also kind of fun to play too. But I don't believe that noob Saba is able to take out fucking Titan Havoc. That's to me, I think that's total bullshit. Like they made Liu Kang look like a little bitch in this way. Especially Gearus too. It's like Gearus, what the hell? You got the power Excuse me, you got the power to like stop time. You could fucking change time, and you telling me you let yourself get captured by Titan Havoc, and then Luke Kang hasn't done anything good, besides the last chapter where he's calling all his allies from different timelines. Like we really never get to see Luke Kang in his full Fire God form, as in him going absolute badass mode, kicking everybody's ass, deleting people with a snap of a finger, parading black holes it's like. They make him look like a real bitch in the storyline, in the whole story mode. You play the game as a one-on-one, -on -one, like versus mode. Yeah, the game would definitely say he's a total badass, but in the story mode, he's a little bitch. I'm sorry, he's a little bitch. Garrus also a little bitch too. When they made Garrus an absolute menace in MK11, so, so yeah, so Titan uh, Havoc is as well. Doom Cyber wants to kill him. Luke Kang doesn't want to kill him because that will. Cause Chaos Realm in his timeline to 
pretty much get the story. So we pretty much got another Injustice 2 situation here, you know, with Superman, Batman. And obviously, Noob Saba is like, I'm going to fucking kill him whether you like it or not. And then Liu Kang bitch slap him and then got Gears to pretty much use his time power to stop him in place. And the story kind of ends out of nowhere. It, it, it just ends. Like, I'm not even joking. It ends. So by the time you see this review, after the, the end cutscene right here, you see on the screen, it just ends. No post credit scenes, no closure, nothing. I was like, what the hell's the whole point of this story expansion? Like, there was nothing really big in stakes here at all. It, to me, it felt like a filler episode of a TV show that I have watched, where it lead to nowhere. That's what this whole story expansion feel like. And I'm afraid that this is all we're going to get for MK1 too. This is all we're going to be getting. I highly doubt they're going to make part 3 or more acts uh, for any more story expansion for MK1. I highly doubt it. Combat Pack 3? Maybe. Maybe. But I don't see any more new kind of coming, uh, coming out for this game once, the new D once all the DLC character comes out for Combat Pack 2. This is not worth $50. Okay? Don't... <laughs> This is not $50, but because they combine this story mode and the combat pack too, is $50. So what I would do is I highly, highly recommend you get this when it goes to a hard sale or you wait for the ultimate edition of Mortal, Mortal Kombat 1 to come out. That would be my best advice. But if you want to try this campaign out or you want to play the, the DLC characters as well, it, it, the choice is yours. You buy it, have fun with it for a while, and then move on. But... In my opinion, this is an absolute waste of money. The only good thing I can say is that the cinema, the pre-rendered cinematics for all the campaigns in, in this campaign looks really nice. It was also voice acted really well too. But that's about it. That's all the only good thing I can say about the campaign for MK1 Chaos Wings. Uh, huge potential it had. Huge potential. They absolutely fumbled completely with the storyline in MK1 and that is a great shame because it could have gone it could have gone something really special with this. Anyways, I don't want to rant too long. That's my uh, opinion. That is my thoughts on Chaos Wings uh, for MK1. It sucks. Play it if you if you really have to, if you want the extra stuff that comes with it like the cosmetics. Go for it, but this is not worth $15. Get this when it's on a hard sale or the ultimate edition for MK1 if it ever comes out. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the worst Mortal Kombat storylines that I have ever seen. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys personally think about Chaos Wings. Do you guys love it? You guys think it's shit? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm very curious of what you guys, uh, what everybody else is thinking about the story for part two. Uh, but... Other than that, I will be now focusing on Invasion as well as trying out Cyrex and Sector and Noob Sabat. And then at that way, we just wait out for the DLC character to you know, slowly come out. We'll try out Ghostface, T-1000, and Conan, wherever they come out. So we're going to be sick of Mortal Kombat 1 for a little while. But it is, I have a feeling it is going to be the beginning of the end. Because I have a feeling that's going to be all the content we're going to be covering uh, for Mortal Kombat 1.